First of all, Happy New Year everyone. And thanks to all you legends that showed some support in 2021. Definitely a 72 volt battery is and controller is in the foreseeable future. Thanks for the 100 subscribers guys. To show a little appreciation, I want to do a giveaway. Now the giveaway would be of the grips that I made for my Suron. I have five sets to give away. All you need to do is comment Ron down below, followed with your Insta tag, so I can get some details off you if you win. My plan is to give these away if and when I hit 500 subs. I will reply to the five people that win in the comments down below so you guys can see who won. Feel free to follow me on Insta at AnswerYT and send me a message saying you entered. And if you don't win, I might just send you a set when I make some more. The rest of this video will just have some clips of me designing a stencil for cutting them out. And I might just add some clips of the hip jump that I made. Range test coming soon. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm going to make some grip tape sort of guards. Hopefully I can get something decent on here. I want to make some grip tape guards to go on here and here to stop this fucking scratching. Good. Baking paper to make some stencils. I've got my piece ready. Got some tape sitting up there. And my plan is I want it to wrap down and over that as tight to this circle as possible around here. See, it could cut off here. That could save me a lot of material. I might as well cover the whole thing. So, I'm gonna grab some tape and tape this to the frame. Put one on the bottom. So I don't want this moving around. I'll put one here as well. Now this is dodgy, but I love doing this kind of shit. Oh, that didn't take too long. So now I'll get take this thing off and I'll cut out this main bit and I might leave some room on here and compare the stencil to it before I cut the bottom off. Pretty happy with how that'll look, so I'll check that out. This here I'm gonna add five mil and roll it out to ten mil. 
right down to there. All right, let's try this out. I'll cut that out. Show you guys what it looks like. All right, guys, so I fairly butchered the top. I forgot about this bit that went in here, but we allowed for that with this extra taped piece. Yeah, it fits pretty well. So yeah, I'll trim this up and then we'll be ready. Cut this circle out. And then I think I'll show you how I'll transfer it onto the grip tape. Got the stencil on here and something that'll dry quick. All right guys, here's the stencil sprayed out. Now it's time to cut it out. Okay guys, so got them cut out. I think it's time to give these a little sand up and then we'll cut one out, why not? One day how it's going to apply. It's a lot thicker than I thought. So I'm going to use the heat gun to apply this and I'm going to splice it. I'm going to cut the thing along here, just the backing paper and just peel off this half first and see how that looks. But first I'll clean this up with isopropyl alcohol. So I'm just trying to clean anything off this. All right, let's apply the sink. Got my heat gun. So I'm gonna pull the backing off this. Sweet. So I can already see where it's not gonna work, just for the, so I need to trim that bit there. Okay, time to try to apply this thing. I'm gonna apply some heat to that. That looks alright. I'll just make the next one a two part. Alright guys, so I spent the whole day prepping this here, prepping this jump. So um, my plan is to come off there and land about where Xena is and roll down the hill. Who knows what's going to happen. That's quite a turn and yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing. But anyway, we're going to give this a shot probably now. <laughs> Yo, yo. 
fucked up, Kelly, eh? Anyway, let's try this out. Bit dangerous, stupid with the dogs. I'm gonna have to put them inside. Ah, <laughs> oh, that'll do. 